This tutorial is all about the new table tool here in Corel Draw X4. Now, this I made this flyer, and this is how it looks like. And I used table the table tool in doing the, the flyer here. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to recreate this one again. In page two here, if you click, uh, if I click on page two, I made I extracted all the images and all the text so that we can start from scratch. Okay, so this is the table, uh, I mean the uh, flyer border, page border. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to duplicate this and move it down like that. And I'm going to use my smart fill tool. Click, and I'm going to fill that portion there. Because okay. looking at the original here in page one, it has the order there. Then I'm going to delete this page and then I click here. Okay. So if I want to sample that color here, this this color. So you go to your dry eyedropper tool, click, and then go to that area and then click. And you know it was selected because now it says here desert blue. Okay. And you go to the area that you want to fill it and then hold on shift. And then click. Okay. So I'll click on that and I'm going to remove the outline. Now I did a transparency there, so I click on interactive transparency. I can get it from here and click and drag going down. Okay. And then this is my title. Okay. So arrange order to front of page or shift page up. I'm going to color that, color it white, and then here's the subheading, and then here's the author. Okay, now I already decided what 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 it's going to look like because I already sketched it out. Okay, so these are the four the four small pictures and then one big picture there, okay. and then here's the pencils. Okay, so the pencils here I'm going to move it over this side here. That's good. And then now I'm ready to make the table. But before doing the table, see the table is in your toolbox here. It's this one here, table. So you click on that. And then it's going to, uh, to ask you how many rows and how many columns do you want. Okay, the first one would be rows and the second one here would be the columns. Okay. Now how do you count the columns? Okay, you count the columns, but you have to include the spacing too. Okay, we're gonna count the columns now. So this is one column, okay? Two columns because we include the spacing, right? So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So that's five. Okay. But just to make sure we can make it more than five, just to make sure we don't because it's easier to merge the cells or rows uh, rather than adding. So I'll just make it yeah, I'll just make it eight here for our columns. Okay. And then for our rows, we count it one, two, three, four, five, six, the spacing there, six, seven, eight. We go eight. Or let's make it nine. Nine for the rows going down. Okay. Now, when we're ready, you click on the table tool and we are going to make nine rows and eight columns. So click and drag. There. Now, if you double click on the table, you can access all the, uh, the rows and you can adjust the rows. Okay, see what I'm doing right now? Okay. Now, what we're going to do, okay, double click. Okay. Let's look at the target. So one, two, two pictures here, one big picture, and then two more pictures underneath that. Okay. So I'm going to do the, the first picture. Okay. Uh, to make it easier, the best thing to do is to, I'm going to move all the columns on this side here. Okay. So I'm going to do my first picture, which is this one here. I'm going to adjust that. Okay. That will be my first picture. This one will be my second picture, so one, two, 
and here's the spacing okay and then this one here would be the big picture right so what I'm going to do I'm going inside that cell and click and drag going to the lower right corner if you see those blue diagonal lines you say I can merge that so right mouse click and click on merge cells there you go so that's for the big picture and then going back here in page one, I have two smaller pictures underneath that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go to my table tool, double click, and then I can adjust that. Okay, so that's for my smaller picture there. Okay, and then what I can do, I can merge this. Right mouse click merge cells and I can also merge this one here okay let's do this one first I can merge this right mouse click merge cells okay, I'm going to adjust that because that's for my paragraph for my text and I'm going to merge this one too right mouse click merge and this one too right mouse click merge perfect now I can I still I can still adjust okay I'm gonna adjust that okay I think we're good okay that's good so now we're ready to put these pictures inside the cells okay this is a very good technique here see if you click on let's say I'm gonna put this in this bigger space here I click on this but instead of right mouse click and moving it right I go left mouse click sorry instead of left mouse please I go right mouse click while selecting it and move it to the cell that I want it to be inside okay see it highlights that cell if I move here it highlights the other cells okay. so I'm gonna go here and then I'm still in right mouse click right and then I release the button and place inside the cell there now then I can reposition it and look at that it masks the the images it's like power clip okay. I can move it around okay now let's do this one here okay instead of left mouse click you go right mouse click while selecting it and then go inside to that cell and then release place inside the cell and I can reposition it very nice now the second one here so right mouse click while selecting it while moving it and then go to that cell release Place inside the container, or I mean inside the cell. And then this one too. Put it here. Place inside the cell. Very nice. And then this one too. Right mouse click while selecting it. Go to that cell. Release. Place inside the container or the cell. And we can make it smaller. There. I'm going to delete this one. And we'll concentrate more on this, this one here. Okay, so the only thing we have to do here is to put the text inside. Uh, we can we can still actually oops, we can still adjust this way. Adjust that. There. Adjust that. using the wireframe okay and I can still reposition that okay now I'm going back to page number one and get the text here it's going to copy this text okay I'm gonna copy that text and I'm going to go back to page two okay so if I want to go to this uh, this cell here to put the text I click on my text tool and go inside here okay I know I'm inside and then I go paste there. Let's look at it here. okay we got the text I can also just going to double click it I'm just going to put more text control V okay. and here if I want to go to this cell here I go to my text tool go inside and then paste the text here and paste the text 
Okay, see the whole thing now. Now, the table has still those, uh, those lines, right? So what you do, you click on the table, okay? And then in the property bar here, okay? See this border here? Make that all, all borders, and in here you make it none. There you go. That's so easy to do. And you can still adjust. The good thing here, here is that you can still adjust the picture. See, once you click on it. Okay, if you're not happy with that, you can enlarge it. You can make it smaller. But it is still in there. 